Everybody, it's Victor. It's time to lead right here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Monday, Mosh Pit. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which puts us at 220 over 240. Look at that. Already halfway towards the TM Trainer run. Thank you all very much for making that possible. I hope your weekends were awesome and your new week is just starting off great. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Accomplished Run 5127. Tile Thread was found my first R key, but... I love how mad Apollyon looks like. These prices are outrageous. I mean, I don't know what the... I have no idea, like, which shop that was. It looks like it's pretty early on in that greed run, but yeah. The, the fact that the R key is 99 cents, come on. Like, that's that's a little bit ridiculous. It should be, like, at most, in my opinion, 50 cents. I think 50 cents is definitely doable. 99 cents, no one's going to spend that on R key, especially, like, if you have a bad run. Uh, Seed Day is going to be uh, Kisper Nexi. Well, we've got uh, well, we got bait and switch. Bait and switch will allow us to go into the secret room or the um, curse rooms for free. It also allow us to do that because man, our movement speed is doo doo. That's mostly because we have lard here, but at the same time, we have a lot of HP as well, um, which will allow us to get some early devil deals here. Uh, tears rate is actually not actually not terrible at all. Actually, actually, actually. Bait and switch will also allow us to deal a surprisingly large amount of damage whenever we teleport on top of something. Um, it does like a little, it's like just a little bit of an AOE around the area of, uh, of teleportation whenever you get to your destination, that is. Um, I think bait and switch also does cause like slight contact damage with just like the little the little Mimikyu ghosty looking thing. Right there, we're just nothing personnel that uh, Isaac had and yeah, that's it. Um, of course, you can also use... Uh, you can also use bait and switch to get around to get to places you normally wouldn't be, have access to. Everyone knows. You know which one I'm talking about. The the crawl space where there's extra items. You know, there's one item that's locked away totally, and then there's the other one that's totally accessible by ladder. You know which one I'm talking about. This is how you get that. This is the, this is exactly how you get that item from that from that room. Um, it's one of the only one of the only ways, really. <laughs> Uh, but bait and switch can be it, it's a niche appeal. It does have some good. It doesn't really have any bad It's just that like, you know, it's just not It's just not anything um, I'm gonna use black hole just to get rid of these rocks real quick just because I don't feel like I don't feel like taking a uh, taking a bomb to it All in chain no dead high absolutely yes so we just used all of our money for that. I mean, a seven cent dead eye though, like yeah, yeah, your boys, your boys gonna be okay with that. I think you can actually destroy keepers as well. There we go. <coughs> so not a bad start here, um, especially with dead eye. Our tears rate is sufficient enough to really get a lot out of dead eye. Um, the only thing that we're really lacking is movement speed, honestly. Like other than that, it's just a really solid start to an Eden run. The receiver room should be there, which it is, and yeah, we'll take a look. Look at this pestilence. Now, the, what I will say, that what is kind of a downside, if I had to pick one about bait and switch, is that when you teleport, you are totally susceptible of taking contact damage from an enemy. So just be aware of like your, just be aware of your exit strategy as soon as you teleport in, because you're going to have to go in that direction to avoid the hit. And Curse of Blind on our 4-2. Gotta love it. So right there, you saw we actually got pushed there because we were just in the midst of the iframes from being teleported by that, uh, <coughs> right before that um, spider hit over here. I don't want to bounce off of the chest into the uh, spikes. You know we're getting we're getting some value out of out of bait and switch. It's not an item that you really see me use, and right there is what exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's not an item that you really see me use all that often, just because it doesn't really show up at the most opportune moments. Uh, typically speaking, if I see if I end up seeing bait and switch, I will avoid it only because I don't think this is going to be possible. The polydactyl. Um, I tend to avoid it only because most of the time, whenever we do actually see bait and switch, I already have like a, a space bride. I'm like, like we're already set, you know? So it would only have to be 
at an opportune moment, like at the beginning of a run where I would even consider taking bait and switch. But you know, it's it's not it's always a nice little nice little treat to have every now and then. You know, you can treat yourself. Nothing wrong with it. A little, a little bait and switch action. Um, do need some bombs here if we can get these tinted rocks. That would be beautiful. You see that bait and switch? It does actually deal a little bit of contact damage. Nothing crazy though. Tons of damage there with that locust of pestilence. Yeah, we're just we're just teleport killing everything now. It's a it's a two heart devil deal. It's definitely worth checking out. Uh, okay. Psychebus is kind of eh, whatever. Um, I think it is worth it for us to at least go and look for a bomb. Maybe there will be a half price bomb over here in the uh, shop. There's not, but there's a half price soul heart though. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the risk and take the bomb here. Let's go and bomb this. Let's get this. Let's get this tender rock. I know the secret room is most likely there, but I'm gonna take the surefire thing here. Yeah, okay, so we paid. Essentially, we paid a bomb. A little. We paid a little bit extra than that than that cheap soul heart that we would have gotten in the shop. So you know, it's whatever. Yeah, sent here, sent there. Okay. So, you know, Succubus is not the worst thing, but certainly not my first pick of a Devil Do item. And of course, there's nothing wrong with Succubus either. It's just that it's a it's a very expensive item for us in the early going. When traditionally we would want to have some kind of raw stat upgrade or anything that augments movement speed. You know, it like Succubus is one of those items that is like a is like a luxury item like it's a luxury damage upgrade um can succubus carry you yes there's there's absolutely no downside to having succubus at all um so don't misconstrue what i'm saying i'm just saying in the first devil deal it's not what i would pick as my first want you know it's not my first need of a, of a choice of item um there's many 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 other items i would rather have in my first devil deal than succubus but that's not the item we got. We got Succubus, and, you know, she will she will do her job. She's doing a decent amount of damage. Um, her damage scales with our damage, so the higher the, the higher the damage that we get from the base value, more damage she'll do, which means she's killing stuff faster, which means it's just making it easier on us. You see how fast the rapid fire here is with uh, the bait and switch, and, uh, again, it's just going to continue to do that. But we really, 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 really want to get into those bombs, into those bomb chests. Now, we do have a sack room with a lot of, well, not a lot. We have a, a few red hearts that we can utilize to get to the sack room here. But all eyes are going to be on this item room, and, you know, it's going to be ghost bombs. It is going to be a good enough bomb upgrade for us to go over and grab that uh, those two stone chests in the challenge room. Not entirely sure where our secret room is and might be here. So we'll revisit that in a second, but first I want to open up these two. Yeah, yeah that's what we want to see. Just want to see a bunch of stuff coming out of here. We have spooky bombs, which is also going to give us an extra layer of, uh, of damage. No problem at all. So as you see there, you can, if you wanted to, you can play bait and switch like if you had Ludovico or if you, better yet, if you had something like Blue Baby's Only Friend. Um, you can use it to cause contact damage, and it does a very good job at at doing a little bit of damage. Does that make sense? Like, it's not going to be it's not gonna be enough damage for you to be like, you know, oh, man, like, this is the greatest item since sliced whatever. But it's, it, it's good enough, and you combine that with with uh, Succubus, uh, bait and switch is a good time. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so that, <laughs> that's going to be a long freaking walk back to the sack room, but obviously we got to go for it. So now the devil deal here, I should. It's un it's unclear whether or not I should have I should have played the sack room before going in here because if there is a devil deal, you know, we we run the risk of getting rid of our red hearts and then wasting that womb room. So 
Although there's a chance we could still get teleported back into the Devil Deal, so it's not not all is lost. But it, we, it would have to be a premium, and I mean premium Devil Deal for me to take over the uh, over the going for the Womb Room sack play here. Get another HP upgrade, which is great. I'm hedging my bets right now. Obviously, we want Incubus, right? The reason why, reason why I'm not taking Incubus right now is because I want to use these Red Hearts and Soul Hearts on the Sack Room before we before we get rid of them permanently. Now, the caveat here is the fact that obviously there's a chance that we don't, uh, whoops, that we don't get uh, Incubus. Coupon would have been nice. So lots of money here and we might end up going with the coupon as much as as much fun as we've been having with the um, bait and switch we want to get teleported back to the angel deal or back to the devil deal now and we didn't so now a okay, glyph of balance is gonna give us two soul hearts which is going to yeet right away a little bit closer than i was wanting to be honest we got knocked back by the troll bomb and that misaligned us from going out the door immediately. A little bit closer than I was wanting to be there from uh, from death. So that was the risk of us actually skipping out on Incubus was the fact that we would not get be able to go back in there. But we do gain the Glyph of Balance, which eh, could be better. Could be if we get lucky. Get soul hearts here. Bueno, bueno, bueno. And uh, I think I will take the coupon. Nah, no, I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll let bait and switch have his day. We've got enough money to where I don't think we need the coupon. You know what? Bait and switch. We haven't we haven't got to play with him in a while, so yeah, come on, come on down, bait and switch. Let's have some have some fun. We're having fun, nothing personnel, kill, kidding everything. We do need more damage, though. Like, that's something that we absolutely need to be looking out for. I max out on soul hearts here. Grab that, grab that. Look at that. A whole plethora of HP. Sorry, Incubus. But we need mucho damage right now. Necesito mucho daño. It's so nice being able to go in and out of curse rooms without ever taking any hits on your HP. For second Emperor's card, it is. Oh, really? So that's interesting. Okay, so I can't actually teleport to bait and switch right now because it's not on the screen. That is not something that I knew would happen. So if the game cannot see bait and switch, you can you cannot teleport to it. That's very interesting. Um, obviously, the, this is a no-brainer here to play the sack room with all this HP. Yeah. Look, I can't pass up Genesis, y'all. I'm sorry. I am incapable of passing up Genesis. As much as I love this build, as much as I love Deadeye, it's it's Genesis, man. It can get you such a great run. And there's nothing particularly amazing about this run it's from stats, stat-wise. Um, but obviously, until we rip Genesis, we want to you know get more items because we want to get the most out of it. But we'll probably use Genesis. I I default normally to Womb One. That's like I'll go. How you doing? Um, that's the most common time where I'm like, okay, let's rip Genesis now. We get to skip to Womb Two. And, uh, you know, then have a, have a fun run until the end of, you know, wherever we're going. Kidding me? 
thought that that fly was all dead. Apparently not. We need some damage here. Now, additionally, we could also just simply rip Genesis now. Um, and that would, you know, that would also be something that's got some value. But I would say that unless you really, unless you truly, truly need to use Genesis, I suggest not doing it until you're absolutely 100% sure that you're not, that you're done with the run or that like there's just no other option. I'm gonna leave that soul heart there because I want I want the glyph of balance to continue to generate soul hearts for us after every room clear. There's a super strong tactic to use whenever you get this item. I mean, it's guaranteed. So st you want to stay on on the as little health as possible, so you can get the soul heart to drop every single room. We I will I will take the rosary, but not until after we're done with this floor because we want to have we just want to have more and more soul hearts. My God, our movement speed is doo doo. So it's a nice little exploit that you can do. It's not really exploit; you're just using the item, um, and you can force Glyph of Balance to drop a Soul Heart basically every time, if HP is the resource that you need. Glyph of Balance is excellent for that. You don't need bombs. You don't need keys, certainly. We'll go back and pick up a couple of soul hearts now, just because in case we do get a devil deal um, that we can take. Or actually, no, never mind. I'm stupid. We we just picked up Genesis. Don't listen to me. One Bumbo to get over here. Now he is going to open up that fool's gold chest or fool's gold rock. Super Bandage is going to give us a whole butt ton of HP. And we will go back and check out what's inside of our shop. It's amazing how we managed to walk into spikes despite having like the world's like lowest movement speed. But that one right there, I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at Succubus. I don't feel like going back. Get all the, all the way to get that half heart. I'll be fine without it. And a greed fight. Nice damage there with the uh, ball of bandages. So, alternatively, we can get out of boss rush by way of using Genesis, and that's also another another strategy we could employ. But we need to hurry, though. Curse of Loss, it's almost annoying enough for me to just rip Genesis now, but I know that I, I'm going to regret doing that, so... You guys? It was. Although, AWAS would allow us to get a boss... You know what? I'm down for it. I'm down for this random AWAS, because this gets us to boss rush and guarantees that we get the extra item, which makes up for skipping an entire floor. And we also go to 100% devil deal, so I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that that AWAS. Especially with it being Curse of Loss, that basically just sealed the deal that we weren't going to get boss rush. Um, because we would have been stuck with Sinvicta Navigation. We would have been stuck forever on that floor. And we've gone the wrong way. All right. Yeah, we are... I think we're going to rip Genesis on Womb 1 after we're done with the boss. Maybe at the... Maybe rip it out of boss rush here. Because we have good items, they just don't translate to good stats, except for Deadeye, of course. Now, we could also be taking pills, because pills are not going to matter when we Genesis, because it's it's a total redo of, of Eden. Bro. Up with these super start-stoppy dingle hits here. Forced to go to get close range here, these jokers, because we got no damage or movement speed. No damage is the big one. Our tears rate is not going to be sufficient enough for too much longer. In fact, after this floor, we're going to be really hurting. The 
priority here is getting boss rush, and then we're going to use Genesis to get out of boss rush. Just simply rip it. Right, right there shows you all you need to know about our damage. Okay, so M is there. M is interesting, but it's not. It's not going to do anything because we're going to use Genesis now. Lucky for us, we didn't see our, we did not see our tinted skull. Um, we might be here. That is. Yeah, there's our full card. Actually, get into get bomb our way into the um, Two of into the boss trap room and then full card out. We don't need the full card because we're going to use Genesis to get out. I'm only taking this because we have Genesis. Ah. Bible, which doesn't do anything for us either. Ah. I mean, yeah, we could use it to get a free mom kill, but. And we would have to put down Genesis, which I'm not going to do. Okay, we finally find our item room here. We got to hurry. We don't have unlimited time here to make boss rush, so. Also, if we could stop taking, like, really bad damage, that'd be great. You see Sack is, you see whatever here. Yeah, so we really got to book it. And I mean, I'm probably going to have to... Probably going to have to kamikaze into mom here. Obviously, we don't have time to go to the vault. We're going to have about a minute to kill mom. We With Deadeye we, and the orbital, we should be okay. I'm using, I'm using everything we have right now because we're going to lose it anyway when we go to Genesis. There we go. Get some cheeky little damage there. We're going to have plenty of time. There we go. Uh, let's start off with damage after we Genesis. Yeah, I mean, any damage at all is going to be good here. We're going to take Ouija board. I am going to take Ocular Rift as well just to give us a Devil Deal choice when we Genesis. And sure, we'll take Candy Heart and let's rip it. All right, one HP. We start off with Sad Onion. You do not want to hit this red chest right here because it could teleport us out and totally screw us um shot speed needs a little bit of help so does our movement speed though but i think that it would be wise for us to get some hp to start with so we're gonna go hp the butt right there got his eye for our first devil Ooh. we just had mom's knife i'm mom's knife is the play here but i'm gonna take lord of the pit okay now, I, re I really wish we would have taken Mom's Knife. <laughs> uh, yeah, Glass Eye. We need a little bit of damage. Do not want... I guess we'll take Celtic Cross. Deathless is... Deathless did so well for us yesterday. Uh, we could take Void. Instead of Esau Jr. A little dumpy. Some HP here. Heck 2... Tech 2 would negatively impact our C-section damage. I'm going to take Play-Doh Cookie. Oof. Man. We do need HP, but Revelation is just too good to not have. That's it. Uh, we'll take the Crystal Key, so... Uh, I don't know if we got better or not. And Curse of Blind. Well, uh, let me take that back. I know that we got better because we have C-Section and Revelation. A Rainbow Revelation in that. 
But our stats did not do small rock. I think. I was gonna avoid it. Yeah, we have so we have sulfuric acid. That's the reason why our babies are able to destroy uh, rocks and stuff. Like the lack of glyph of balance really kind of hurts, and that's sort of the reason why I didn't necessarily want to rip uh, Genesis right away. Was if we got a mediocre roll, then we'd be in a lot of trouble, especially going down to the dark room. A damage upgrade there from Death's List, very nice. Red key did give us a uh, red door. A crystal key, I should say. The choice between Revelation and the body was what I was kind of agonizing over. Um, because, again, <clears throat> we needed we needed HP, right? At the same time, like, you can't pass up Revelation. I mean, you can, but it's probably not a wise thing to do. And, yep. Because I saw where the Super Seeker Room was, I figured that was either a ruse or the correct, correct spot. Turns out it was the correct spot. The crystal key did open another door for us. Let me drink it. That turned into rainbow worm, which we do not want. Alright, there we go. There's the entire south and east side of the map, everybody. Go check out the north side. Oh, we actually got a payout from that. I don't know how. And we got a range upgrade, which doesn't do anything with C-section. I'd love to know what HP that mom hand was on, because I'm pretty sure she should have died. Okay, there we go. All right. Here we go, everybody. Here's the entire map. Just so you can see it. A happy little map. Super duper. I'm going to check to see what's in here, though, since we do have a guppy item, and I wish I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if Genesis helped that much. Which isn't really, again, Genesis' fault. We just didn't have a, a lot of items that we could take from a passive side that made sense. But at least we have Void. Void can help us out with our stats, or lack thereof. Um, it usually results in movement speed. I'm hoping that that's what happens. Great block there by Lil Dumpy. Of course, this is Curse of Blind, so our... Devil deal effectiveness is going to be um, affected. Don't know exactly what we're picking up, and it doesn't matter because we didn't get it. We do get a tears up, and I will happily take that. It's a huge tears up there from Torn Photo. Big time tears up. Play the demon judgment real quick. Come on, Celtic Cross. Come on now, you can do it. Oh, okay. C section definitely one of those items that just. It just makes things better. You know, if you have a, if you have good tiers rate, if you have good damage, I mean, if you have good tier effects, like the amount of synergies that C section have are off the charts. Another great block there by Little Dumpy. 
Or I'm just looking for a red heart so we can go back and tap that demon judgment one more time. The thing about C-section is that it's not it's not front-loaded damage is the thing. It's a very gradual buildup of damage, unless if you have Mom's Knife or Spirit Sword. Um, the damage that you get from it is a, it's a slow burn, I think is the best way to describe it. It's a, it's a very slow burn. You know what? I do wish that it had the same amount of synergies that, um, or I wish it synergized with Revelation like it does with Brimstone, which is a, a holy beam of babies. Is that a devil deal I see? It is. We get ourselves a devil deal and the ultra secret room. What the heck just happened? Yeah, I mean, there's no way we pass that up. And Contra Below would sacrifice Lil Dumpy. Lil Dumpy's been doing great for us, man. But think of the guppy items, though, man. I'm sorry, Dumpy. Yeah, we'll take a little Abba Ding Dong. A little Abba Ding Dong transformation there. Definitely am happy to have a movement speed upgrade. That is four shizzle. Two rooms in the room D20, by the way, so we have nothing to really go off of. Sorry, little dumpy. You made some big time plays. You didn't. You didn't get to. You didn't. Deserve, you didn't deserve to be done dirty as you did. But at the same time, hey, you know what? That's business, baby. Nothing personal, just business. Come on, man. And give us a movement speed upgrade. Tended rock right there. Okay, um, it's great that there's trinkets game. I'm I'm happy for you, but we don't need trinkets from our golden chest. It's like eight in a row now. Exploding baby. And yeah, it's not great. Not great at all, actually. In fact, this is a pretty god awful devil deal for our last one. We could void Book of Sin, I guess. But I could also just not. I'm being slightly incredulous right now because I wanted to... I, I was hoping that Genesis was going to have a little bit more impact than it did. Um, of course, forgetting the fact that, like, you know, we didn't... We only took, like, I think, like, 12 items or something before that Genesis. Which, again, is not Genesis' fault. I want to maintain that. Crystal Key going ham. The one downside of C-Section is that it does have such a huge penalty to your tears rate. Chop must have moved at the most exact perfect interval. I will say I'm definitely missing Anima Sola from yesterday. And that was hugely, hugely, huge reason why. We did so well in that lost run at the very end. It really, like, sh you know, closed it out. Like, we, we sheltered, or uh, shuttered the deal. The very end there was so great. And we got an I Am Error Room. Missing, though. You know what? Let's do it. New me, new you. Man, what a what a terrible first roll.
So missing note is going to re-roll us on every floor. Uh, we have pop. Ugh. Ugh. I'll have the crab juice. Hey, Jello! <laughs> oh, the discourse of people who who don't like Jello now, just because just because I loved it, and we shown you know I mean it did show up like quite often, and I mean this is the second day in a row it's shown up, but like, dude, come on, it's Jello. We're just gonna we're just gonna hate every item that just shows up like frequently now just because it's good. Come on, man. And don't give me don't don't tell me oh it's a, it's a boring item. No, it, it's an it's an item in the game. Use the items. Don't let anyone tell you it's a boring item. You shouldn't be using it. Jello is a great item. A missing no will re-roll basically everything every single time we go to a new floor. Um, probably not going to stick with it though, just because I think missing no is bad. Um, it can save you. It's true. It can save you. It does. It, it sometimes does good things. Did we need to take missing? No, no, we didn't. We didn't need to. But I mean, this runs practically over anyway. And, you know, how often do I willingly take missing? No, literally never. It was a special, a special Monday treat. Maybe it sets the tone for the rest of this of this week's runs, and we'll get wacky crazy with it. Make no mistake about it, missing note is terrible. Um, not being able to fully like save your run, as in like the build that you've done, and have it just reset every single time you start a new floor is really annoying. Um, again, it can be good, but it's normally not. It normally makes you weaker. And there's no sense of like, hey, look at this run that I've been building up over the last like half hour or so. There's no payoff, I guess, with, myth with with missing no. It's either you get something and it's great, or you roll a, a good run and you're just kind of sad that it's it's gone forever. That's missing no in a nutshell right there. I'll take bone spurs. We'll say Ventral Spirit is going absolutely ballistic here. Eventual spirits there are. Yeah, they're just they're just totally mauling everything. So what a run though. I will say that this was a uh, very enjoyable run. And a little bit of, a little bit of wackiness, a little bit of kookiness going on. And uh, again, thank you everyone for getting another video to 3000 likes. Everyone loves those double episodes. I think if done sparingly, I think that it's definitely worth it, especially if my voice is okay. Um, and yeah, I just hope you all have a great start to your week here. If you enjoy this video, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. Your question of the episode today is going to be when would you have used Genesis in this run or would you have used it at all? Were you totally fine with our first run or definitely did you want to Kind of roll the dice. Post them in the comments down below. And honestly, like I think that the Genesis, the Genesis play was definitely good. What this run would have looked like without Genesis, who knows? But uh, you know, and then of course missing note just kind of just reset everything there too. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, click the like button. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Have a great start to your week, and until next time, so long everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some pages of mine like Caitlin Bennett, Hunter, and Carlos Ibanez. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.